guys, well welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be installing some new tail lights on the Sylvia because you know, factory one's a little bit boring. So we thought we would go just exactly like everyone else and get some new ones. So um, let's get started. So as you can see, we have a nice set of the Yashio style tail lights. And these will be going in the car today. Um, bought them pre-owned so I'm gonna see if they work <laughs> all right so for today's install video you will need a socket set a flathead screwdriver and the Phillips head screwdriver and that's pretty much it so you can probably even get away with just a flathead but anyways we'll start off by removing the cover here so this cover needs to come off to get the lights out so these aren't screws, they look like screws, but they're not, they're actually clips, so be very gentle. Uh, pull it out like that, and then the actual inside of the clip comes out like that. So I'm just going to put them down on the bottom of the car so that they don't get lost they're in the boot. And uh, we'll move to the next ones down here. And we'll take those ones out. So I like to just be really gentle and pull them up a bit um, when you're taking it out. So if you pull the actual you thing up, yep, that part comes out too. And you can put the, whoop, almost lost it. Put this inside there so you don't lose them and just put them down somewhere safe. And once you've got them all off, you need to then remove these little black tabs over here. I'll show you, they're just down here. So if you look closely, you can see you just get your screwdriver in there like that and pop it to the side and out they come. We'll do the other side too. And I'll move you guys over. As you can see, the little black tab, just stick it in there like that and pull it out. So what you want to do is you want to get your screwdriver underneath there like that and then just turn it and it'll come out. Pretty, pretty simple like that, right? As you can see, the whole uh, bar has come out now. And then we need to access the panel where the lights are. So as you can see behind Curtis, we uh, have a little bit of a little bit of a situation. So you need to sort of move this forward and pull it out. And um, I'm gonna take off these clips and take it off. Nah, I think we'll just leave it. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, it's it's all right. We can reach it all. Whatever um, I'm not sure what size they are. I'm pretty sure my ones are the wrong size. So you guys should have to check and see what yours is. Um, Must be eight. We'll try an 8 first on mine, see if this one fits. How's that? It's too big. Too big? Yeah. Try 7. I'll try the other side. Maybe 7 fits. 7 fits? Yep. Alright. Well, 8 fits on this side, so... Um, <laughs> um, that's okay. Oh, wait, no, the different sizes. Top ones in. Yeah, let bottom, me let me let me show everyone where the where the screws are. So you've got one up here behind um, down here. If you look, you'll see it. It's around here, and then you will have a couple more. Uh, so if you can see back here where my hand is, there will be two screws next to the uh, grommet. You need to remove those, and I think that's all of them from memory. Oh, and there's also a smaller one down here on the edge. So there's one here, one up here, and then the two here next to the grommet. Um, and then you'll need to remove the clip as well, obviously. That's uh, very important too. Uh, we'll get to that shortly. We'll start on the on the screws now. Uh, where'd you put the socket? Oh, nice. All right. So you get your wrench in there. Might need an extension to get the closer ones. And like I said, in here there is one. So just start uh, untightening. Uh, once it's loose, you can pretty much take the rest of it out very easily. 
Uh, as you can see, here's one of them. Oh, sorry, there you go. Just put it somewhere safe. And we'll do the other one now. Uh, I might have one that fits. Try one of the oh, Imperial okay. ones. Jesus. Yeah, try one of the Imperial sized um, sockets. Oh, yeah, you can use that too. Does that stay still? No, it moves. All right, so we got this one loose as well. Um, this is also good to have a friend for this sort of thing because if um, the light falls out, that's you're gonna have a bad time. You don't want that. So just put those aside. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see in there, but I'm just undoing the next one. And well, this I'll, one's loose. I'll loosen this one here. Yeah, some of them I put in loose last time when I changed the bulbs. All right, here, do you want the socket? Uh, These ones are all loose now. So I'll undo the remaining screws. Just be careful because the light might fall out, so make sure you're holding it when you pull the last couple out. All right, so I got the last two out. Now the light will pretty much just come straight out now. Um, in this case, you need to undo this clip because I'm pretty sure in the Yashio lights, there's uh, a control box which you need to install. And then this clip which plugs into the factory loom, uh, if you guys can see that, which will go into this one down here, okay? So we need to undo that. I'm not too sure how that works, so I'm gonna have to try and figure that out. I think it's just a clip. There's this massive truck that just pulled in. I don't know where he's going. Yeah, two trucks. Oh, there you go. Just get a oh, yeah, screwdriver in there, shove it in, and just pull out, and out it comes. All right, so now we'll remove the tail light from the vehicle be very careful not to uh, yeah you will need to push the grommet out too but first um, this one's already been pushed out you might need to push yours out yeah. and then just remove the tail light like so and there it all oh, is is, to something else. is it yeah. oh yeah I put a wire tap in there okay. um, that's for my reversing camera so Do we just take off yeah, take off the tap and we'll put it on uh, the other one, the new look. Okay guys, so the next step will be to install the Yashio tail lights. So you're going to get it and pretty much put it in the same way that you got the other one out. Um, the only thing is these things are a little bit too hard to put through. So we'll disconnect some of the loom and we'll put it through from this side. So just uh, unclip these. All right, so what you do is you just untangle the uh, cables and then you're gonna pretty much shove it through the hole where the grommet is. So uh, I'll bring you down just so you can see. Ooh. Do you mind holding? Or do you wanna just hold it there for a sec? So see this hole here, this is where it all goes through. So you want to Grab this and put that through there and then pull that through and then put this one through here. That's pretty much done. And then you grab the actual light itself and you can just feed the grommet to the end there because you need to seal it. I really think these cables should be on the other side so I'm not sure why they're all hanging out here but anyways. Uh, make sure you seal that into there because that's a part of your light as well. You don't want that to be hanging out. Figure out how it goes in and then bang. Alright, that's done. And we'll punch this one in here in the grommet. Just pull it in. Make sure you get that seal. You don't want water seeping through your lights into your... Uh, your boot. Oh, it's a tight one. <laughs> Hold on. I need both hands. Do you want me to pause? Nah. We'll shove it in. 
just pull from the other side to make it easier as well. Gently. Some gentle persuasion. Fuck, there's spider webs in here, I'm scared. Do you reckon the huntsman's gonna come out? Ah, oh, she'll be right. She'll be right, mate. Yeah. Get something and push it in there. Oh, that's too big. Here, let me try. Just push it the rest of the way. Oh, wait, hold on, we got him. I think. There we go. Alright, so that's how it should look. That's your grommet. So we did good. Now we'll get the tail light. Tail light. And... I don't know, I guess we're just going to have to wrap these cables up and... Can you feed it through the grommet more? Nah, because... Nah, I Where won't let you like? go any further. It's, it's like stuck there. So I guess we'll have to like put them here like this and... Zip tie. Well, I don't have any on me right now, so we'll just uh, place it in there gently. Try and hide the cables. There's someone having a heart attack. And uh, once you've got the light lined up, just push it into place. And there you go. Pause it. Okay, so here's what the tail light will look like. Schmick. So. I'll put you back here so you guys can see what's going on because there's one more thing you need to do. Um, first, what you do is just start screwing it in because you don't want it to fall out on you. So, um, put the nuts back on. And yeah, you can do the other side if you want. Curtis will start on the other side to uh, make the process a little bit quicker. Sorry, guys, there you go. Now you can probably see a lot better. Put the nuts in there on the the sides now I recommend that you do them like sort of tight but don't do them too tight because you don't want it to be impossible to get them off um, mine were finger tight before if you want you can do it a bit tighter sorry yeah rip it rip it okay um, once you've got them all in the light shouldn't be moving which is a good sign <laughs> Yeah, and if you want, you can get your um, socket and just put it in and tighten it with your hands. Just finger tight, right? Don't need to do it super, super tight. And I'll do the ones over here as well. And now, it also comes with a control box like this. Now see, my car already has one installed in there, if you can see down there. Um, I don't know if it's the same one, so I won't use it because it's an old one that was in here before. Uh, the previous owner had a set of Yashio tail lights as well, but he obviously took them out and sold them, but I, I don't know if they were the sequential ones like the ones that I'm putting in now. So I'll just install the new box, which is this one here, and we'll just place that in there. I'm not even really sure what it does, to be honest with you. It's just one wire going in there. So, that's curious, but anyways. Well, because they're LEDs. You think? Yeah. Well, we'll get this cable here. So, it plugs into this guy here. Pretty, pretty much like that. You can't get it wrong because there's different sizes. So, pop it in. Nice. And then, you get your cable that you, it was a pain in the ass to take out. And you're going to plug it back into the loom. So if you can see, it just snaps back in. Beautiful. Did you leave the key? Oh, the unplugged yeah, you will need to unplug the controller box. So I will, I'll place the new one in here as well, and uh, next to the old one. I guess you should obviously bring a rag and clean it because that'll obviously help a lot. Adhesion, but uh, 3M's pretty strong, so I wipe it with my hands. <laughs> There's nothing really coming off anyway, so let's go and stick it in. 
I was too scared, bro. I didn't want to break it. <laughs> it break it bro. All right, and then we whack it in there. And just make sure you press and hold it for a little bit, maybe about 10 seconds, because just to make sure it adheres. Uh, try and hide the wires up yeah. in the top sort of area. Yeah, I'll just get the bolt holes lined up. Yeah. Looks good. It's alright, I've put the box in there. Yeah. Alright. And that should be enough, I would say. And then pretty much you can cable tie this stuff to pack it up if you want, but um, we're just gonna YOLO and stick it in there. And then just uh, put your interior back together. Just like that. Oh, sorry. And now we'll uh, move to Curtis's side and we can see the final, uh, what he's doing there as well. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, I probably won't put that in the video because you've seen it already, but um, let me get a closer view for you. I haven't like clipped anything in yet. Whacking those screws in. Grommets in place. <laughs> did this come off the clip? What? The, oh, yeah. It did? I can put it back in. That's okay. It just pops doesn't up, just doesn't slide it? On? I think so. What do you reckon, mate? Looking good? Alright, eh? Hey. It is, eh? Hey. Let's have a look. Oof. Oh, I thought you were talking about his crack. <laughs> I um, this is free. Do you want to say hello to the vlog? What's up, boys and girls? Yeah, um, he's he's one of the boys. He's not around very often, but you'll see more of him soon, won't you? Definitely. Ya? Definitely. Yeah. Especially when he gets his car. I wonder what he's the getting. License. The license, mate. Full license. Ooh. If anyone, if any of you guys don't know, in Australia, you can't drive these cars. Well, I mean. You, P players can drive the Australian delivered S15s, but they're not as fast as the Jap ones, unless you um, work on them. Uh, getting in there. Okay, it's on the clip. It's on. Yep. Hectic. All right, we'll plug in the control box and just whack it in there. Like I said, you can't get this wrong. <laughs> it only goes in one way. Is it like hard to put in? No, I just clipped in. There you oh, go. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, you want me to put the brakes on and see if it works? Yeah, let's test it out now. So, um... What are the reverse lights look like? The reverse lights aren't on. On? Yeah, on. There we go. Alright guys, the pack up's pretty much the same. You just need to put these in first. So you put your left side in first, underneath the right side. Uh, make sure that you got all your lining underneath this cover and get your clips and just swack them in the hole, pretty much. Like this. Be careful you don't damage them or break them. I'll take the screw out just um, to be sure. Nope. Just like that. Yep. Left, that would be and just whack it in like that. And then we'll do the other one over here. Curtis has already done the honors of uh, the other side, so we'll get ahead. And that's it. You're done. You can pack up all your tools and you can go.